commented on some grilling and cooking videos. So that's what we're gonna do. We actually have some family in town all the way from Montana and we decided to introduce them to a goose roast or more specifically a Mississippi goose roast. So we've got four breasts right here, so two, two geese. And then we also have a venison roast here. This came from Nasty's Buck. So if you haven't seen that video, we'll put a link right up here. Make sure you check that out for us. We decided to go ahead and do a Mississippi uh, roast with the deer meat as well as the goose. So first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this goose roast. If you take a look right here, one of the things that we gotta do, there's feathers inside of the hole. And so you just kinda peel those out and then try to get up under this silver skin, just like this, and, and cut some of that off. For all those of you that think this is being wasteful, I have three German short-haired pointers and we are definitely planning on feeding that to them. They think it's a treat, nothing goes to waste. All right, now we have this deer roast right here. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of silver skin in here. Since it is a roast, one of the beauties of doing a roast, or one of the beautiful things about doing a roast, is that uh, it's gonna break it down so you don't have to remove as much of this as if you were gonna grill it or something. We are gonna get the main, main parts off and you wanna have a very sharp knife so that way you're not wasting any meat. As you can see, very little meat came off with that. So that's gonna be really important um, so you're not wasting stuff. And again, we cook this up, feed it to our dogs, so none of this is truly going to waste in our household. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of silver skin, but we got the main chunks off. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off real quick. Just like that, see that right there? That's what you're looking for, is those like big pieces of tendon. Get that out of there. And now we got a nice clean piece. Another beautiful thing about doing a Mississippi roast is it tastes delicious. Honestly, one of my favorite ways to do a roast. My wife is the one that introduced us or introduced our family to this recipe. But literally, you do a, a single packet of au jus, and then you do a ranch salad dressing seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Sprinkle that just right on top, like so. You're gonna put a stick of butter. Moving on to the deer roast, we're gonna go ahead and mix in, again, the ranch seasoning packet, as well as the au jus, both Kroger brand. You don't have to get bougie on it. A whole stick of butter that we're gonna throw in there. So, as far as actual measurements, they're pretty simple. Put that whole stick of butter in right there on top, bam. What you gotta remember is, with wild game, it's a lean meat, so, you're not gonna have all the fat and juices that you would have if this was like a chuck roast or, or something like that. So that butter really helps out. Then the next thing we got are uh, some mild banana peppers and we're gonna use this whole jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put half the juice in this one. Just kind of sprinkle it. Half the juice in this one, just like so. And then I'm gonna throw about half the peppers in there. Just kind of split it between the two, just like that. And honestly, all we're gonna do is put these lids right on top of them. Um, we're gonna wake up about midnight, get these things started. We're gonna go to church in the morning, get our worship on. And then when we come home from church, the house is gonna smell delicious. We're gonna pop these lids off. We're gonna have some mashed potatoes. We'll shoot that part tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have some green beans and some other fixings. And we're gonna eat for good. haven't already make sure you check out the uh, button buck video and we also have a couple different videos we'll put one of them up here
Yeah. Well? She's okay. drooling over it. She is. About maybe four months, we'll let her have a try. A little bit of the agu. Mm, I like to kind of put it over my green beans. Absolutely, too. that's my way. What do you think, little mama? <gasps> no sweet tea, huh? Still working on that. Can't believe Blue Collar not drink sweet tea. How did you like the goose? What did you think about it? It was delicious, on point. And what I love about it is you cannot taste the game in it. So if I if you would have had like a chuck roast and that sitting next to it, would you know the difference? No, would not. No? Very similar. Mary, what did you think about the goose? It's delicious. Could you tell the meat. difference if you were eating chuck roast and that? Yeah. Okay. There you have it. Check well, out the I recipe. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Yeah. What the dog doing? You want to close this out? Close this out? I don't even know where you well, where you've been. Well, well, we <laughs> All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys figured out a really good way to cook your goose and some of those less desired uh, pieces of deer meat. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Please, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this video. Give it a like. Now, subscribe to our channel and like. You know what to do. Do that. Leave a dumb comment below.